Dustin with Tango Down Customs. The point of today's video is to answer the most commonly asked question that I get via email, which is how many stencils do I need to do my AR? And generally speaking, it's in reference to the Cryptek stencils when I get asked that question. So that's what we're going to jump into. It's going to save me a whole lot of typing. First off, this is my M4 with a BCM stock. It's a 10 and a half inch short barrel with a 12 inch rail and the Novesky Pig Flash Hider, which allows me to use a 12 inch rail. Certain things to consider when you're thinking about your own rifle, you may have a bulkier stock, you may have uh, maybe a Battlefield Minimalist smaller stock with less surface area, something to think about there. Upper lowers are generally going to be the same. Rail is definitely going to be where our differences are. Most people are probably going to have more to work with here. I am fortunate enough to have this SBR, so I have a shorter rail system, and it's also a key mod, which makes it very thin. As you can see, my whole hand wraps around this rail fairly easily. Um, one of the older style, you know, AR platforms or whatever, um, you may have a hand guard that's significantly uh, wider and has a bigger circumference, so you're going to need more stencils to wrap around. Well, let's jump into it. Generally, what I say to begin with, I have two types of Cryptek. The Type 2 or mirrored version is here, like you've probably seen if you're watching this video. And this is Type 1. So, I suggest Type 1 for your stock. Type 1 drapes over the top of the stock and the cheek plate very well. You can use this if you want to do your buffer tube. You can do that. You can lay it down on there and it's going to cover the majority of your stock. Or you can lay it like this if you don't want to worry about the tube come right down and you're going to have no surface area problems everything's going to be covered by the stencil and you can probably even trim some of it off to use in other places if you'd like from there the next point that everyone wants to know about is the upper and lower that's why i designed this stencil it's a mirrored version and for the size it fits very well over the receivers. Right across like that, flip it over, you can do the other side, you can turn it so they don't match exactly, or if you really wanted them to match on both left and right side, you could actually get that effect because this is a mirrored stencil. Again, you're probably going to have a little bit of extra to play with. You can bring it down here into your grip if you need to, or you know, into some other spots, but remember, as you fold the stencil over and work it in and out of these grooves, it's going to become smaller and it's going to take up some of that, uh, you know, width and length away from you. As far as the rail goes, you know, to each their own, depending on how much you want to do. But the Type 1 single centered stencil lays down on this particular rail, which is a 12 inch key mod, it fits perfectly. Um, I can wrap this right on here and it'll go all the way around. There might just be about a half to an inch on the end of the rail that's not really covered. However, if you're good with the airbrush, you can make that work and it's not going to be an issue. Again, if you're going to have something a little bit thicker or wider, you may want to consider grabbing a mirrored version. That way you kind of have two to work with. So you can run that across, use the other side and wrap that around too if you have a longer rail. When it comes to grips, buffer tubes, um, mags, you're going to have a little bit of extra. Like I said, you can trim these. Grab a pair of scissors or a hobby knife, lay it down, and then trim off what you don't need. And then you can lay those pieces down, maybe on your charging handle, um, along the top of your rail here if it's not covered up. Um, you know, if you want to end up doing your your flip sights or just bring them down here onto your grip. It, that being said, though, it is kind of nice just to maybe grab one extra stencil, one more than you think you need, so you don't have to worry about it. You can chop that one up and place it all over your grips and everything else. As far as the mags go, um, now, I've said it in other videos when I was used, when I was doing a lot more mags, I don't like doing the top very much because it adds 
a certain level of thickness and you mess with the tolerances of a mag uh, falling out when it's empty. So if you're going to do that, you can easily grab one stencil probably and do a couple different mags with it, depending on if you want to wrap it all the way around or just uh, cut off what you need and lay it flat on the side of the mag. So I hope that helps answer the questions on how many stencils you need to do a Cryptek rifle. I mean, just to, just to summarize, one type one here, one type two for your receivers. Depending on the length of your barrel, which is gonna make a big difference, you're probably gonna need two. I mean, I, I'm lucky enough to get away with one here, but if you got a normal length 16 inch barrel and rail, you're definitely probably gonna need uh, at least one of the type two, if not, two sets and then grab an extra for all your extra parts that you're doing so like I said it depends what you're doing um, a lot of guys just email me and ask me a blanket question hey I mean how many do I need to do an M4 and then I have to turn around and ask them well how long's your barrel how long's your rail are you doing the grips are you doing the aim point are you doing just up or lower you know so think about all that before you order and I always have the return policy so if you don't use one of the stencils that you buy send it back and I will refund you the money. All right, hope that answers. Thanks for watching.